that's your command today and Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video. I'm glad to have you all here with me today. Oh man, guys, it's gonna be a fun one here. You guys know the free champion you get after what 750 days playing this game, Eric's, right? I love me some Eric's. Literally 631 days. One video in the past, I mentioned that she was a free legendary or free login champion. And everybody, or not everybody, but like half of the people in the comments were like, wait, what? Eric's is free? How? Where? I don't see her. Yeah, you just gotta play for, you know, a couple years almost, and you'll get your hands on an Eric's eventually. She is worth the wait. She's a super, super fun champion. She's a hard-hitting nuke on her A1. Get out of the gem mine, Ash. Get out of there. Get out of there, man. She's a hard-hitting nuke on the A1, on the A2, and she has a counterattack and an ally protection on the A3. She's an HP-based nuker. She's a really fun champion. By the way, apropos of nothing, shout out to the Care Cubs. If we get beat by a, a, a clan called Care Cubs, then what am I doing in this game? It looks like they are going to smoke us. What are you saying? And I, I, I kid, I actually love the name and I, I shout out to the clan. <laughs> I was in live arena last night where I do all my best live arena battling in bed. That's what I do, ladies and gentlemen. This sounds like way too much information. I was in live arena in bed and I have, uh, let's see, this dude. And, uh, oh, this, this, my, my couch gamja, right? He drafted an Eric's. You don't see a lot of Eric's up here. You know, I'm not like sky high, but I'm 4,200 ish right now. And I don't see a lot of Eric's, but he had a fully awakened Eric's. He had Lady Makaga. He had a Siffy. He had a Harima. Now I did win. Of course, I was running super chalk meta, Taurus, White King, White Queen, and, uh, and, and Armands, right? So way to go, Ash. Way to think outside the box. I know. I'm going to be real with you. You see how tanky my team is here, right? He almost had me, and this is how the battle went down. I obviously didn't record it, I was in bed. But, I killed Siffy, Makage, and Harima. And it was only Eric's left standing. And I had my whole team, and he almost wiped me with one Eric's. How did he do it? Using a build that I had not seen before. I'm not sure, you know, I'm sure it's been around. It's not like super rocket science, but I just had to share it with you guys because I know similar to me, there'll be some players out there who do have Eric's who want to really just make your opponents maybe rage quit, right? Really infuriate them. And that is in the 6P stone skin, but in a super slow build, but building as much resistance as you can onto Eric's, right? So it's kind of challenging to do. Ideally, we'd have 500, 600, 700 resistance. The more, the merrier because of Armands and Sun Wukong and all the manipulators out there in the game. Uh, but we do have 6P Stone Skin to buy us a little bit of time, right? And we have her in the proverbial UDK slow build. When I saw that turn meter on Eric's, when I went to that live arena battle, I was like, dude, do you have gear on her? And then I found out, oh yes, oh yes, he did have gear on her. A lot of gear, a lot of good nuking gear. So we have her with 105k HP, uh, 135 on the speed, 104, 267, 433 on the resistance. I did have to sacrifice some accuracy for that stun, unfortunately, uh, but... We, all, we really want everything. We want our cake and eat it too, right? We want crit rate, crit damage, HP, uh, resistance, and accuracy. Everything except for speed on this champion is what we want. So I'm sure I could do a little bit better with the build. But as long as you guys know the basics. So we have HP percentage on the chest. We have HP percentage on the boots. We have uh, crit damage on the, uh, the gauntlets, obviously. We have resistance on the banner. And then we have crit damage and HP, obviously, on the ring and the amulet. On the masteries, well, we have uh, Savage and Lasting Gifts to extend the duration of the continue or the counterattack, excuse me, on the A3. So how does this strategy work? First of all, on our A1, it's an AoE attack that has a 25, but make it a 35 when book chance of removing a random buff from each target. Obviously, does require accuracy. Could stand to have a little bit more. Uh, we have a stun on the A1. Transfers a random debuff from this champion to the target. Targets that receive the stun debuffs from this skill. Really nice ability. The counter attack is where it all comes together here on a three turn cooldown with the ally protect, thus going into the A1, thus removing more buffs. Fills this champion's turn here by 5% each time an ally inflicts a critical hit. Heals this champion by 5% or max HP every time an enemy inflicts a critical hit. So we have a little built-in mini lifesteal here and some turn meter fill, which is, is nice. I have Soul Reap on her as well. So what are we doing? We're actually opening up with the A3 ability, right? And we're putting that counterattack on her, 
Let's just go in the first. Let's, you think we can solo this? Let's try to solo this. Eric's versus the world, ladies and gentlemen. This is a nasty little build, guys. It's fun. It's a fun one. All right, so they're going to do their thing. They're going to do a lot here. We have stone skin. I mean, we're, we're totally fine. It's going to take us forever to get to our turn, but it's okay. Uh, at least, you know, we get there eventually. We put that counterattack on. And now, I mean, we're resisting the removal on Tormin. That's just the AS one hit on the A1 right there, right? We resisted that. We counterattack. We, <laughs> we, uh, we just chill and we resist everything and we just kill everybody. <laughs> that's that's the build guys that's it there you go uh isn't that the most <laughs> most fun little run you've seen man listen again i'm not saying this is like a game breaking gonna gonna you know change the entire game like we've never seen before here but i thought this was a a, a real unique and fun build on a really fun champion right so now we have uh we got a baron we got a hefrak and a two-piece stone skin of his own we got an armands and stone skin on the enemy team let's see how we do here let's again go in with the oh uh they had their uh hefrak take an extra turn there that was good let's see if we can kill all these dudes look at that Hefrak instantly activates. It doesn't matter. We still have stone skin. <laughs> I mean, we are just taking them down one at a time. Boom. We just took out Armand's. I mean, we took out, I mean, well, not yet. Let's let's just wait. See if we can actually take out Armand's before he sheeps us to death here. We'll, we'll get him eventually, right? I think. Maybe not. Armand's, if you ruin my video, dude, I'm not going to be happy, bro. All we need is one turn. But I think Arm. Oh. We resisted, but it's not enough, is it? Get, get, get in there, get in, get in. Boom! Look at that, no big deal. Just taking down a little Baron Hefrak, Necret the Great, and Armands, all with the free legendary Eryx. Free after uh, two years, I don't know, forget about that part. All right, let's do it, let's do another one, guys. This is kind of fun, right? Now, wait, another? Another Baron team with a UDK as well. That one looks a little bit iffier. What do you what do you guys think? Let's try this team, but let's put her with some friends, right? I got a little squad here. I got a little squad. Uh, just to help bump up her accuracy a little bit more. I got Tim at the Fool, I got Kaja the Rye, and I got Lady Makage on the squad here. Now we're cooking, right? We've seen her solo take out a couple squads. Let's see what she's like with the whole team around her, right? We have Timmit in a stone skin. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you what, guys. I mean, I recognize that not many people have both these champions, right? Timmit and, and Kaja. They can have it if they want it. But they're one of the most interesting duos in the game because they're okay alone, both of them. But when they're together, they're very, very good. You know, very good. All right. So, so far, we've just kind of just been <laughs> not doing much here, right? We've been doing timid stuff, right? We haven't done anything with Eryx, I should say. Now we're going to, again, open with that A3. And now she's going to start just chipping away with that A1. Not just chipping away, but... And look at that. We can extend the, the, the deep... Look at four-turn counterattack. I mean, this one's over, right? This one's pretty much over already. Uh, well, never say it's over when you've, you're sitting on a... Uh, sitting on a sky piercer right here right i guess i should be more careful but i am going to come in and uh we're gonna lady makage we're gonna lady makage stun them here now we can go a2 on eric's and she can pretty much end things take out the reviver and the rest is going to be history but guys i mean listen i could sit here and, and, and mess around with you guys all day this is actually really fun but i just had to share this bill with you it's infuriating i can see in live arena if she, if they had one, right? If he had one and Eric's had wiped out my entire team, I would have just like rage quit, at least for the night, right? I would have thrown my damn phone out the window. I'm telling you. <laughs> Let's do one more before I let you guys go right now. Let's do a, a, a Taurus team here. Now, this is a little bit of a dangerous team because they have uh, Sun Wukong. Um, Armand Sun Wukong, obviously, are going to be a pain no matter what. No matter what team you're running, right? So let's go after their Reviver. It's cool to have that ally attacker, obviously, on the team. It doesn't have to be... Uh, certainly doesn't have to be uh, Lady Mikage. Uh, but it does mitigate 
to some extent her lack of speed and you can just open up with a hard hitting a1 just from the ally attack anyway right another cool combo i guess i lied i guess i'll do one more because another cool combo is a shoot and the uh the valorous right she can grant an instant turn we can go right in there with eric's a3 open up with the uh with the a3 like right away Shuzen is like one of the coolest champs in the game. So unique with that instant turn ability. It's just, it allows you to do some really nasty things, you know? Another combo I love is Shuzen the, the Valorous with any Deny Revive champion, right? So what you can end up doing is like, let's just say a Nithui Blood Twin, right? Or Queen Ava, right? You can build them very slow, uber nuker, whatever. And then you can grant an, an immediate turn at the speed of Shuzen, right? And then she can, like, odds are they're not going to have everybody in stone skin. You just pop off anybody you want to kill and they can't be revived at the speed of her, which is insane. Uh, but let's try it with this squad. Let me refresh, get a, get a better kind of team here. Uh, this one right here, this one. I mean, let's just go for, let's just go for a big team, a big boy team here, right? Let's go, um... Let's see how we do. Do I have her anywhere recently used? Yes, I do. So we go first. Let's just give her a turn. Give her a turn. Come in. Counterattack three turns. Lasting gifts. Thank you very much. I mean, let's fill the turn meter. Give Timid a turn. Why not? Now, Timid a turn going in. Well, who cares? Let's do it. I was going to say, I probably should wait for the buffs to land before I use that A2. I was hoping I'd land a couple more uh, fears, but it is what it is. It's going to be a long battle now. Let's see. Hopefully, we can win this one. This is going to be a tricky one. I almost feel like I should just leave it on. Yeah, I can just leave it on auto here, right? But anyway, guys, I, I want to ask you guys in the comments. Do you have any cool combos or builds or whatnot? This one, we might not have enough firepower on this team, you know? Well, we certainly don't for uh, for White King. It's not looking so good here, guys. Maybe I bit off a little bit more than I could chew. I should have just stuck with the Eric's uh, soloing speed teams. That would have been a great spot to start in and the video. But this is kind of what it looked like in the live arena, right? Uh, last night, well, White King just doing what White King does, right? What can I say? What can I say? That's always my favorite nuker in the game. Hey, but guys, either way. What a fun build on a really fun champion. Uh, thank you for watching. Like I was saying, a little call to action. If you have any favorite builds or combos that are a little bit unorthodox, a little bit outside the box that can annoy your opponents, let me know about it in the, uh, in the comments below. And who knows, maybe I'll build the team and give you a shout out. Much love. And as always, take care, guys.